Hi, I'm Abby Doyle, RN with At Home Nursing Care. Today we're gonna to talk about edema and I'm gonna show you how to put compression stockings onto a patient. Someone may have edema or swelling to one or both of their lower legs, feet, and ankles for a number of different reasons. Heart failure is the most common cause of edema, but it can be caused by other disease processes as well. Regardless of the cause, compression stockings are the first course of treatment to control edema. Not only is edema uncomfortable, but if the swelling goes uncontrolled, all that fluid is pooling in the lower legs and will find a way out, eventually causing open wounds that weep fluid. These wounds can easily become infected, causing a much bigger problem. Compression stockings are great at helping to push the fluid back up towards the heart. They can, however, be very difficult to get on and off, especially for the elderly or overweight. Okay, today we're gonna show you three kinds of compression stockings. The traditional, stretchy, one with some, uh, a zipper, a little easier, and a Velcro option. We're gonna start with some hand hygiene. And put on our gloves. Here we go. Okay. We're gonna start with our traditional stretchy compression stocking. You wanna kinda cinch it all up and they are quite tight, so you really have to use your muscles here. And then we're gonna start at the toes. And gently slide it up. The hardest part is getting it over the ankle. Once you get the ankle, you can slide up. You have to be very careful not to tear your client's skin or cause any injuries. Now finally, you wanna smooth it and get rid of any creases or folds in there and make sure that the toes have room. There we go. So now we're gonna show you how to take it off you want to gently roll it down. Again, the ankle or the heel is the hardest part here. There we go. Now we're going to try a zipper compression stocking. These can be easier, but are sometimes a little harder to get this around the, the leg to zip it up. You have to be very careful that you don't zip their skin into it. So again, Start with the wide toe base. Get over the heel, being careful with the zipper. Okay. And this one, I'm gonna have my patient help and hold that. And I'm gonna pull it gently away from her skin as I zip up so that we don't get any skin in the zipper. There we go. So taking the zipper off is a bit easier. You're gonna gently, slowly unzip, and then that's gonna come off much easier. Okay, finally, I'm gonna show you a Velcro compression. Now this one doesn't have toes, so it is a little bit different, but we're gonna Open it up and we'll try this leg. Okay, gently just put off the Velcro, pull it across, and then we're going to get it tighter and really pull that. You can repeat that as many times as you need to to get the desired level of compression on that. This is obviously the easiest one to apply. So our compression socks will come in a variety of um, colors and some have a toe, closed toe, some are open toe. Um, some things to remember is that they are sized. So you wanna follow the manufacturer's sizing guidelines. Um, some of these traditional ones, you will actually have to measure the circumference of your calf right below your knee, around the ankle and around the foot. And they are like specially made just for that person and the size of their legs. 
If you have any questions that I haven't answered or you're wondering if this would be something that's indicated for you, you should talk to your primary care physician.